Here is a special and urgent message for you. Your safety and perhaps your life depends on remaining calm and following these instructions. Federal authorities have indicated an enemy attack is probable. There is a chance that we will be attacked. Follow these instructions. The local county sheriffs are going to arrest you for four serious allegations before this matter goes to the courthouse and we freeze your bank accounts and get you arrested. For more information regarding this case, you can get back to us at 202... I've lost a lot of friends over the past couple of years. Like instantly, like lightning striking. Couldn't figure out why. What was I doing? What did I say? It was all building to this. I don't know. Maybe this is just the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them a decent respect to the opinions of mankind. All lives matter. Black, white, green, yellow, whatever. Regardless. What kind of songs did they sing? Do you remember the names of any of the songs? No, I can't, I can't remember. I can, you know, I can't read. I never remember the song. But they didn't sing songs like the song now, you know. They sing them old songs, you know, about amazing grace, how sweet it sounds, you know, all like that. But, you know, I can't recollect all of them. I can't recollect them since I've been grown. And some people, just by their very nature, are the kind who help people who need help. Today's topic is the coronavirus. This virus is named for a crown-like spike on the surface of the structure. The human coronavirus was first discovered in the mid-1960s. Now, there are seven types that can infect people today. I'm not asking for a friend, I'm asking for myself. But we had to come here today because there's another virus in the land. Silence. Like you're floating in space. Or you're floating at the bottom of the sea. Or you're just all alone. At the same time, there was something deep down within me, moving me, that I could no longer be satisfied or go along with an evil system, that I had to be maladjusted to it. And in spite of all of this, I had to keep loving the people who denied me service, who stared at me. And I still believe that today. If you have a place of refuge far enough away, go there and remain until we give you information that will permit your return. I don't know. I'm going to be really upset if they're manipulating people for votes in November. I'm going to be really upset if they knew about this back then. I'm going to be really upset if all of the financial support goes to rich people. Do not listen or start rumors. I don't know, I just, I go to bed at night. My dear American friend. With anxiety, it takes me forever to go to sleep. Buy a share in America. I wonder, is this the last night that I wake up and I'm okay? I don't have a cough, I don't have a fever, I don't have congestion. I'm not on my way to the emergency room. That's what happened to my cousin, 
who's now gone. We have the honor to present him. Headache. Severe. Hospital. Ventilator. Dialysis. Liver failure. He's gone. And it was very interesting when I um, mentioned it or brought it up with people, many people, in all of their best intentions, the first thing they would say was, you know, did he have any pre-existing conditions? And the only pre-existing condition that he had was he lived in America, we were not prepared for this pandemic, and our healthcare system is broken. <laughs> that was his condition. They can cause panic. I get stopped by the cops. This guy, this guy gets stopped by the cops. This guy's amenable. This guy doesn't do anything. This Excuse guy my resolution. completely tries to defuse a situation. And the more I try to defuse it with law enforcement, the more it escalates. I close my eyes. And above all, keep calm. Your life depends on it. In Atlanta, this city, this community, the people here have been working together as a community. It didn't really matter whether you were black or white. We have a long history of pulling and working together. You don't know who you're going to inspire with what you do. You don't know who's watching your actions. Your actions gotta be good and forthright and upright. You see, the movement didn't start with civil rights. It started with human rights suggestion to people to be hopeful, to be optimistic, and not to give up, not to give in, and don't give out. Keep the faith and keep working. Sadly, we've got too much practice at this. I just want to say everybody stay safe and blessed up because this world is not the same no more. It's not, it's not. I got, I got four boys and I'll be damned. I just want this to end. And I don't ever want to come back to this place again. And I don't ever want to make America great again. I just want to make America better. A revolution of values requires that we finally accept the founding document of our nation that all men and all women are created equal. And since all men and all women are created equal, then black lives matter. It's very possible. Nothing is impossible. Um, I'm sure that there would be other changes if many of those people had continued to live. We are tired. We are getting killed every day just because of our color and nothing is happening. We are tired. Because what hurt one or pain one hurt and pain all of us. Doctor, what's wrong with men today? The great doctor was silent a moment, and then he said, men simply don't think. The opposite of fear is hate. It isn't love. The opposite of fear is hate. You know, get out here and raise hell, you know, until people hear you. That when people need help, that one should help them, if possible. It's, it's the individual conversations. It is the pushes and pushes that we do. Maybe this is the beginning of the rest of my life. Each new hour holds new chances for new beginnings. The horizon leans forward, offering you space to place new steps of change. I tell you the truth, when I think of it today, I don't know how I'm living. I remember that book as well. Look like for me, I can't. Been slaves all our lives, and mother was a slave, sisters were slaves, father was a slave. In every stage of these oppressions, we have petitioned for redress in the most humble terms. Our repeated petitions have been answered only by repeated injury. This is tomorrowpictures.tv.